I'm gonna do an old day in the life of property management. Oh wow, looks like that split. Today's Monday, so I'm coming back and dealing with the, the weekend chaos. I need to replace that. Yeah, it looks like the old filters need a backwash as well. I like to keep it in between these two arrows here. It's a little above it. Use the breaker as the switch to turn the pump off. A lot of guys comment and say that's not good, but I didn't build the place, guys. All right, now that the pump is off, go clockwise to backwash. Do it to both. The sand filter. I've done DE and I've done saltwater pools. I like sand the most. A little more maintenance friendly. You can see how milky it is. It's milky. Whenever that clears up, it'll be ready to go. All right, it's been about four minutes. Now you can see how the water's not so milky looking. Cleared it up. And we'll shut it off. <clears throat> then we'll rinse it. So we got a backwash to rinse. Let it rinse for a couple minutes and then back to filter. All right, we're done backwashing and rinsing. Go back to filter. the new ring keep about six of those on hand and good thing we caught that thing was about to go put some chlorine in it to the top there we go I just fill it all the way to the top pop a new ring back on gunk in there. Clean it out, please. Give it a hosing. All right, Skid, our boobies are cleaned. Our basket's cleaned. Chlorinator ring is fixed. We got chlorine in there. We filled it up. Put it at about two. And that's open. All right. We're ready to turn it back on. Good. Ten is good. Yeah, that one looks good now. It was almost around 20. I like them around 10, so that's good. They're both around 10. I've already done the grounds. I didn't film myself doing grounds, you know, unless you want to see me pick up garbage, but 
That's part of the morning routine, and I come to the pool. Go ahead and test the old pool. Put it face down, go elbow deep. I use DPD powder, so we want to get it to the, the 10 mark. All right, right there will work. It's hard to see because of the sun. This is the old DPD powder. I use this because this is what the inspectors use. So I want to be on their playing field. Just get two scoops and dip it into the tester. Turns pink, that means you got chlorine. It's good. Give it an old swirl. And you take this. Each drop equals 0.5 per million of chlorine so one drop 0.5 per million two drop so now we're at one parts per million 1.5 two two parts per million two and a half three three and a half until it turns clear you want to go until it turns clear so we're at roughly three and a half to four parts per million which is which is good I like to keep it at around three so now we'll test our pH again elbow deep bring it to the to the 44 44 line. Five drops of pH tester. Two, three, four, five. Give it a shake. I like to keep it at around seven four. Yeah, it might be seven two, seven three, so I'll add a little pH up, but it's still good. Seven two. 7.4 is where I like to keep it. Yeah, so this is my pool. We take turns doing it every two weeks. This is my two weeks. Things are a little out of place because it's in the morning. It got some action yesterday. I come in to clean it up. 75,000 gallons. And what you just saw is the way I've been doing it for the last almost five years. So it's always worked for me. Nice little routine going. All right. All right, now we're on a no cooling call. AC ain't working. We'll give him another filter. Turn it on, see if the inside unit comes on. All right, the inside's on. Let's go check the outside. Well, the outside fan is running. I don't feel like it's moving any heat. So I think the compressor's not on. Those pressures tell me that the compressor's not on as well. So, we'll check the capacitor. I didn't hear any compressor either. So I think we're gonna have a bad cap. Hallelujah, that's an easy fix. I got plenty. Yeah, there's our capacitor there. Give it a little rub over with the screwdriver just to get whatever's left in there out of it so it don't zap me. Just doing a capacitor, guys. We're not building a rocket ship. We're not going to Mars. All right, one lead on the Herm, one lead on the Common. 234 microfarad. Ho! Oh. Obviously bad. Supposed to be a 40 slash 5. Yeah, this is the brand new one right out of the box. 39.9, that looks better. Yellow to Herm. Red and purple to Common. Just like the other 5,000 capacitor videos of, that are on YouTube. 
not much to them. But it's a common work order on property management, and that is the title of this video, property management. Just wanted to make a video about the common stuff, what I do every day. All right, new cap. Come on, big money, no whammy. All right, I heard the compressor. That's what I like to hear. Now I'll check the charge. Make sure we got a good super heat. Yeah, they're cooling down nicely. The charge is good. Good super heat. Yeah, they're gonna be fine. All right, that was an easy fix. Just a back capacitor. That's what it is about 60% of the time. It's gonna be a back capacitor or a float switch. Easy fixes. Pretty common with property management. And uh, I had a leak on this on this uh, unit a couple years ago, so I had the old butterflies kicking, man. Like, dang, did I fix it? But it's still good to go. Good superheat, good charge. So on to the next adventure, Skid. Here's another common work order. The old runny toilet. You can hear it running. Well, 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 if it didn't my arch nemesis, the old rusty ball cock. We're going to get that out of there. That flapper's probably seen better days as well. Change everything out. We're gonna go with the new fill valve. Turn the water off. Get it out of the tank. That little flapper looks a little bow janky as well. We'll get that egg salad out of there. I like to cut chlorine buckets in half. Use them for, use them for leak buckets. Pretty much a standard day in property management though. Pick up grounds in the morning, do the pool, catch a couple of AC calls, usually going to be a capacitor or a flow switch. Sometimes you get the glory calls. Low voltage short, refrigerant leak. I got videos on those as well. And runny toilets, garbage disposal reset buttons. Gee whiz, I forgot about that one. We use the old fluid masters around here. They're the best ones I've been able to get so far, in my opinion. Ones that I really like though I can't get. HD don't sell them. Alright, don't forget your gasket. Make sure we got a nice smooth surface down here. Just for the gasket to sit on. Don't want it to be lifted. Water run underneath and you got a leak. I'll go hand tight with these and then give it the old quarter turn with my pliers. That should be good. Supply line still looked good, like I said earlier. If it gave me, if it gives me any guff though, any doubt, I replace it. hose a cut it don't have to be that long turn the water on try it out almost forgot to replace the flapper let's go ahead and do that yeah it's a little warbly
put that through the handle. I'm going to need two hands though. No leaks. Good power flush. It definitely sends some monsters down this one. I'll give it about five flushes and if it's still good I'll move on. Another simple fix. Off to the next adventure. All right, it's 8.01 p.m. And I'm on call. I got a no cooling call. Hope it's something easy, like a, a float switch, capacitor, low charge. We'll see when we get there. Man, we are extremely low on refrigerant. You hear the old clinkling too, the compressor's clinking. I've already bled my lines with air and everything. Got my tank hooked up. 14A. I'm just gonna put it where all these ton and a half sit. This sit at about 40 saturation, so I'm just gonna get her through tonight and then do a leak check tomorrow. It's just gonna leak back out, so there's no reason trying to get a good superheat or anything. Just gonna get her cooling tonight and then come back tomorrow morning first thing and break out the old sniffer. Fix the leak. Pretty easy fix though. It's a ton and a half Goodman and they all sit around 40 saturation there so that's where I'm going to put her. Is sitting around the 40 saturation mark, about 115 psi. That's where all these ton and a half sit. I mean, I've got it memorized, I've been working on it for five years, and so I'm gonna let it rock and roll there for tonight, get her cooling, and come back and do a leak check first thing tomorrow morning. It just beat sundown. Now, this little toilet's got a big crack in it, big old butt crack. This will probably be the last repair I film on the property management segment. I was hoping to get more uh, tub drains and garbage disposal reset buttons. That's really common, but couldn't catch them. Maybe next time. Oh, that's a nice crack. So I got a nice bowl. So then I'm going to just take out the bowl and I'm going to reuse the tank. So that's all I got to do here. No biggie. Got the water turned off. Get as much out as I can. Whenever it doesn't come out, shop back. Tank off first. Then we'll lift that old bowl out of here. Plop the new one in with the new wax ring, of course. Yeah, that AC that was low last night when I was on call. It was a coil leak. I replaced the coil. I've got two coil replacing videos. Don't need another one. So if you want to check it out, how to replace a coil, air handler coil, I'll leave a link to the video in the description below. Sockets a half inch. In case any of you guys are wondering. Alright, we will reuse this. I'm gonna put new bolts and gaskets in there though. Well there was a little blooper moment for you guys. Almost forgot to disconnect the dog on the supply line. Undo this one, then do the same on the other side. Wonder how this thing got cracked, man. Man, I hope 
if the whole bolt's not spinning. I think it is. Yeah, this is a good tool for these stuck bolts. The jam bar. When the whole bolt's spinning, it'll hold the bolt. Yeah, the bowl was coming out anyway, so I just ended up just smacking that with a hammer, breaking the porcelain. All right, we plopped them in a new, new toilet. No cracked front. Real easy, I got some full toilet replacement videos if y'all wanna check them out. Just wanna do a quickie here. No leaks. Got them old bolts out, put some new ones in. All right, thank y'all for watching. The Dirty Maiden Show. Don't be a stranger and stalk my feelings. You know you got to pay rent to my mind. Don't be a sunny day, throw away. Just put the money in your shoes and don't be just fine. Put down your weapon. Your weapon of destruction. Put down your weapon. Your weapon of destruction. Yes, I will learn to